Thank you very much. It is uh, nice to be back here. As, as Charlie said, I did write the book, You Might Be a Redneck If. In fact, I have to tell you, this summer I was working in Oklahoma. A guy brought one of the books to the show. The book was real beat up, and the guy came up to me. He said, sir, he said, I keep this on the back of my toilet. Would you sign it? I said, well, if you'll hold it, I'll sign it. But for those of you that, that may not know if you're a redneck or not, they asked me to do a few uh, to try to help you out. Uh, things like, uh, if you own a home that is mobile and 14 cars that aren't, <laughs> you might be a redneck. <laughs> if you take your dog for a walk and you both use the tree at the corner, <laughs> you might be a redneck. If you refer to the fifth grade as my senior year, <laughs> you might be a redneck. If you prefer car keys to Q-tips, you groan, but you know what I'm talking about. If the most common phrase heard in your house is somebody go jiggle the handle, you might be a redneck. If you've ever taken a beer to a job interview, you might be a redneck. If you see a sign that says, say no to crack, and it reminds you to pull your jeans out. <laughs> you might just be a redneck. And trust me, I know about rednecks. In fact, this summer I did something I'd always wanted to do. I cashed in a ton of frequent flyer miles. I took everybody in my family to Hawaii. 13 people thinking this would be the vacation of a lifetime. It ended up being the Clampets go to Maui. Because you get my family together, there is an empty Kmart somewhere. They show up at the airport, they are using coolers and grocery bags for luggage. The sky cap's like, which one's yours, the Samsonite's? Like, no, sir, we got the igloo with the duct tape on it and the five Piggly Wiggly bags right there. And on the plane ride over there, the movie they were showing was Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Five minutes into this movie, my brother turns to me and goes, you know that ain't them dogs' real voice. <laughs> my sister got mad. Well, thanks for spoiling it for everybody else. <laughs> and we were staying right on the beach. You could tell which rooms were ours. Ours were the ones with the underwear hanging off the balcony. And according to the manager, the site of the only peeing for distance contest they had ever had there. Which I am ashamed to say, my Aunt Rose won in the second round. My family, they don't go to hotels much. They stole everything from this place. When you get out of the shower, you are using toilet paper to dry off with. Because they have the towels in the Piggly Wiggly bag. One day, one of the maids went to lunch and left her cart in the hall. Lord, they were on that like buzzards on a mule cart. Picked it clean. I asked my brother, I said, what are you going to do with 180 shower caps? He said, Christmas presents. <laughs> then his wife got mad. Well, thanks for spoiling it for everybody else. <laughs> and as much as I know about rednecks, I know that little about women. Well, that's not true. I do know this. I know women love those shoes. Or my wife would leave me for a free pair of shoes. <laughs> my wife, she's got so many shoes now, we don't go anywhere without playing the flamingo leg game. This is where she gets dressed, puts on two different shoes and goes, "Hun, which shoes look better with this? These are these. I just mess with her, I don't know, do it again. These are these. I can't decide, baby, do it again. These? A hunting camp and seen some guy go, Hey Jerry, what do you think? Hunting boots, tennis shoes. Hunting boots, tennis shoes. Well, I don't know, Ted, do it again. I do know women care a lot about smell. And my wife asks me every day, Do I smell good? I like the way I smell? See, because if men have an odor, it's usually an accident. <laughs> Charles, what is that alluring fragrance? Oh, that's Michelob, it hit a bump in the truck. And both sexes care about smell. It's just women go to trouble to smell good, and men are more like, hey, does this stink too bad to wear one more time? Woo, 
maybe I should put it in the dryer. <laughs> Men love that dryer, don't you? give us a cling free, we'll find a shirt in the sewer, put it in the dryer and wear it. So I'm a gun ready to go right there. Warm equals clean. <laughs> Figure this one out. How is it that women can lie down on the couch and take a nap without sticking their hand in the top of their pants? <laughs> Do men have a sleep button located right there? <laughs> Let's take our hand and put it on that button. <laughs> I'm convinced women feel a sneeze coming on. Every time before my wife sneezes, she reaches into her purse, pulls that tissue. <laughs> you men have no idea we're gonna sneeze. We'd be riding the bus somewhere like, do ah! <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry about your shirt. You can put that in the dryer, that'll be all right, yeah. That'll no, be great, God bless you, thank you so much. Watch for Jeff Foxworthy in a sitting near you. Up next, Confederate Railroad on Music City Tonight with Brooke and Chase. <laughs>